perch. So I thought I'd come out, I heard the news that perch are biting, so I came out to see if I couldn't get a few myself. So all I'm doing is I'm tipping a jig with a worm. That's it, a little night crawler. Last night we had a good rain and uh, I just took a little bit of time, went out and picked up a few, maybe three dozen worms, night crawlers. And now I'm drowning them. Oh, big old bluegill. Yeah, they'll bite too. Nice bluegill. Uh, debating whether I'll put that in the case. I think we're going after perch. There he is. I think we might have found a little bluegill bed. Another bluegill. So, oh, I'm the one to catch these bluegills. It's a lot of fun. I got a little jig head. Uh, I just got a little jig head and I'm putting worm on it. This one's shot. But I just hook a little piece of worm on there so that there's some meat. Um, I'll get a new worm, but just a little jig head like that and you just kind of bounce it around down to the bottom. Yeah, I think we're in bluegill right here. A nice bluegill. You know, if I was bluegill fishing, I'd be tickled pink right now. But we're looking for perch. Another bluegill. This is what it looks like when I have it baited up. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it sure seems to be working. So I just have it kind of swung on there just like you might with a paddle tail or something. We can catch another one here. And if it's a bluegill again, that'll be four bluegill in about four minutes. I'm not really trying to bluegill fish right now, so I'll move. Hmm. Or bluegill. Hey, we got our first white perch. Just a little guy, but that's okay. First of many, I'm sure. Release. I'm going to rebate this, see if we can't catch a couple. I get the impression it's going to happen pretty fast, so I might only be able to run one rod, but. There's a little school of them, and I just uh, park on them and drop on them. Ain't much to it. Park on them, drop on them. Same rig I was using for the bluegill, nothing different. Oh, there it is. <laughs> just like that. A little perch. If they continue to be small like this, I'll move, but I'm going to see if I can't pick up a large one out of this bunch. And my goal is to uh, get enough that I can uh, take it over to my buddy's dad's place. He's been asking for some fish, and uh, I want to bring him something that's really good to eating. And you don't get much better than perch, so that's the goal. Let's try to catch a couple from my buddy's old man. Now these aren't even making it to the bottom, it seems. It's like uh, as soon as they see it come past them, they're biting on it. So I'm watching my line to see if it stops going. And if it stops going, I know that there's a fish down there pulling it. Well, there he was. Another similar size. White perch. There's a ton right here, so I'm just going to keep on going and see if I can't pick up one of uh, that's a little bit bigger. Big school of them. They're worked up right now. Oh, this feels a little better. A little better. A little bit bigger. Still not what we're after. Ooh, settle down there, settle down. But I am right on this school, and they're all fired up right now, so I should be able to pull a couple up. Not too bad, but I want to go a little bit bigger than that before I start harvesting.
think one took it. No, nope, I was wrong. The way it was falling, it looked like one took it. it looked like it was running. There we go. <laughs> one followed it up. Number four still is kind of a small. It's a little guy. We're doing good though. So essentially, uh, I do find that like bait, the perch size classifies. So you tend to catch the same size perch out of that skull. So I'm not thinking I'm going to catch much different than what I, I think I just saw him coming up. <laughs> I see lines coming up at it. But so I'm thinking that I'm going to catch similar sized perch out of this school. Um, and that's okay. We'll just have to find another school. And this little cove I'm in, it's kind of loaded with them. There's a couple throughout. The reason for that, I think, is because of the owlwives. I'm seeing owlwives work through here. Owlwife is a, it's a bait fish. And the white perch, everything eats owlwife. So there's a couple in here, a couple schools that you can see on the top. And I'm sure there's some underneath. Oh, there he is and so they're just in here picking them off and that's probably why they're bunched up in here but thinking that proves that this size of perch is what I'm gonna catch out of this bunch and that worm that worm is destroyed you got fish jumping all around me here that one worm's going a long way man five fish five perch off of one worm <laughs> I think I got three or four dozen worms in there so we should do okay oh there's another one he feels good so that's a decent size right there that's not too bad that is not too bad but it's still not what quite what we're looking for. Still not quite the one that we're looking for. So, I'm gonna throw him back. I'm gonna get a new worm, I'm gonna let him keep that one. When he came up, there were two that were right on his heels. Changed up the profile, just have, I used my other rod. It's just a larger jig head and it's heavier, so it's just gonna go down faster. I wanna get it to the bottom, see if I can punch past the smaller ones. Get it all the way on the bottom where the bigger one I think is. Besides, the yellow line helps you see how I'm fishing too. That's the bottom. Reel it up one crank and then wait. Maybe bounce it once or twice, you know. There's one looking at it. There he is. Got him. He's a little nicer. Settle down, settle down. This is about as small as I want to keep, I think, from my perching. Let's say he, he's about nine or 10 inches, something like that. That's about as small as what I would want to keep myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the cooler. We'll take him and we'll start collecting. We'll just try to shoot for like 10 inches or more about nine and a half inches. Let's throw him back. Let's just do 10 inches or bigger. That's the goal. So I'm just letting the line all the way down. And that's the bottom. Oh, there he is. to go so on Saturday I came and uh, we were swimming right here with the kids in this cove and it's close to seven points and if I had uh, participated 
in the competition on on Sunday, I think I probably would have stood a chance just because, well, they're here, you know. Maybe I should have come to the competition the Striped Bass Association had the other day. I had my kids. I had, uh, you know, an early day and everything, so I just couldn't couldn't make it happen. Or I'd have been here. That's okay. We'll have our little perch tournament right now. We'll see how we can fare today, right now. What do you say? <laughs> well, he's close. He's close. Let's look at him. Yeah. He made 10 inches, but barely. Uh, I kind of half lost him and threw him back, but that's okay. Barely made 10 inches. Swap, drop it till the line stops, and then I just reeled up about one or two cranks. And now I just wait. So perch is not a difficult fish to catch. It's just a difficult fish to difficult to locate. That's the hard part of perching. Um, if you can do that, just get a jig head and put some worms on it and bounce it up and down a little. It's a lot of fun too because the family can catch them. Everyone's qualified to catch perch. See the line laying on the rock on the water. So the water, the line's just going down, down, down. There's the bottom, and there's a fish. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. I think we have a nice perch here. There we go. Nice. That's what we're looking for. That's a nicer perch. Okay. That's the size of perch we're looking for. And I think the bigger ones like to lay down on the bottom. But that's the size we're kind of looking for. Yep. So it's just over 10 inches. So, good. 10 inch into the cooler. And I'm just keeping them on water. I don't have ice today, so I'm just putting them in water. If you're doing this, you're going to pick up the occasional yellow perch as well. Um, they just frequent the same niche, you know. This is just a little tiny guy. I mean, so I would never keep something that little. I like yellow perch, it's fun, but there's no reason to keep that. Grow up and get bigger, huh? It's looking pretty ominous there. I don't think I'm going to escape it fully. There were a couple sprinkles already, but um, nothing is chasing me off the water. But boy, that is some... That looks like it's just going to dump. I don't want to quit, though. I kind of feel like I'm accomplishing something here, and I don't want to give it up. Not so much like perching. You know, like I caught plenty of perch and stuff, but I'm making a nice video for you guys so you understand how to do it, uh, at least how I'm succeeding with it. But more than that, I wanted to collect a few for uh, my buddy's dad. I was going to go hang out with him tonight, play some cards, and, uh, you know, have some perch. I think I'm getting wet. Yeah, seems like the storm changed direction. It was going kind of south, but now it's just coming straight up. I'm going to have to shut it off, guys. Well, what a bummer. Hey, that's how some videos have to end. Just like a fishing trip, you know what I mean? It is almost dark anyway, so it's kind of the end of the day, and uh, can't win them all. I'll save the worms, come out and finish another day. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of it. See you on the next one.